On Tuesday, the National Office of the Pi Kappa Phi Fraternity received an anonymous report of inappropriate activity at the UT chapter. The chapter was immediately suspended and an investigation launched. I asked the national chapter for an update on the investigation. A spokesman sent me an email saying, our investigation into the anonymous report is still ongoing and so we do not have any additional details to share at this time. I asked a number of students on the UT campus today about this situation. Um, I haven't heard of it, but I wouldn't say it surprised me just because I think there's still like a culture about it. Um, even though like I don't think it happens as much, um, I definitely have heard about things. I spoke on the phone with UT spokeswoman Megan Cunningham. I asked her what individual or organization on the UT campus was investigating this matter. And I also asked her how many students were involved in this alleged incident and what was the inappropriate activity. To those questions she replied, the matter is under investigation. I spoke to Nathan Perez, a senior from Columbus who is a member of a different fraternity. Some of them are believable, but I feel like, I don't, I don't know, it's, kind of, it's always scary, but at the end of the day, like, you just got to go if you got instinct on like, what is true and what is not true. Nathan told me he has had a positive experience with the fraternity he joined. I'm a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Uh, we are a MP, MPHC uh, council fraternity, and we, on campus, even though there's only a few of us, we strive to like, work really hard for our things. We had the second highest GPA on, uh, of all the Greeks at the University of Toledo.